so you as a sniper, as a clever uh, entrepreneur, what you're going to do is you're going to put in the actual keywords as your domain, right? So Check this out. You wake up. It's right there. It's, it's in your mind. It's a vision that the universe has given to you. You go to sleep. You stare at the ceiling. You're still thinking of that idea. That idea is you becoming a very successful entrepreneur, creating a better life for yourself. That's the journey that we share together. So enough of this deep talk, guys. Let's get to the to, to the cool, interesting stuff. I'm not saying that stuff isn't interesting, but I know why you guys are here. You're here because you're 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 ready to learn, and I'm ready to show you what I've implemented into my business and things that have worked great for me and things that I could have avoided. Now, uh, some of you guys know I have a couple of other businesses, including an iPhone repair business, and when I first started my iPhone repair business. I was trying to come I was trying to come up with a catchy name for my business and I was fixated on a catchy name when creating my business when creating my social media plat, uh, plat handle and also when starting up my website. So now that you and I are jumping into a 360 photo booth business, we want to make sure we optimize everything so that people can find us right away. Why? Because some of us depending on where we reside, we're going to have a good amount of competition within our city some within our state it just depends how the market is wherever you're going to be operating out of right guys and creativity comes in of course at the end but for right now we just want to be easily found online so grab a drink grab your coffee macchiato tea whatever it is sit down enjoy this one this one's going to be a lengthy one but it's going to be it's going to be cool we're going to spend some time together and um you probably love me after this the recording and we are on i'm very happy to get in front of this laptop and show you guys a strategy that only takes two steps and it's going to give you massive results you guys are going to love me after the one after a minute of this video you guys are going to see where i'm going with this if you like this video subscribe and if you are brand new to the channel welcome to the channel this channel is about me launching a 360 video booth business or 360 photo booth business um, and just everything that goes into the business from finding the supplier from comparing uh, prices for your 360 photo booth what 360 photo booth size you should consider getting um, accessories all the lighting equipment basically your whole setup and then after that we're going to jump into okay how do we start ranking how do we start driving traffic to our website how do we start uh gaining a position in the digital platform such as google yelp and stuff like that so let's go ahead and just get started right away huh all right let's do this so we're gonna go on safari or google whatever you decide by the way if you are in front of a laptop watching this you can actually uh start making these adjustments right away so that you guys can start ranking immediately i'm gonna open up google search right here i'm gonna type in um 360 photo booth now guys i made a video and i want to say this video was close to getting closer to three weeks ago from the time I shot this video and I was on the fifth page of Google at the very bottom for my listing on Google on Google Maps uh, which means that yes it was gonna be very difficult for someone to find my business so now it's been close to three weeks or so I'm gonna show you how I managed to rank and get I believe on the first page last time I checked I was on the first page let's check together I typed in 360 photo booth I'm going to start scrolling down and then we're going to hit more places. And this is going to give us uh, the area right here, this whole entire area, a uh, big chunk of like California. And we're going to see where I'm ranking now with my listing. Keep in mind, guys, I have no reviews yet, right? So I'm going to start scrolling down. This is the first page. I'm going to start scrolling down. And it's right there. Boom. So look it. We went from being on the fifth page to being on the first page. Uh, midsection I would say yeah around the mid uh, around the middle this is truly amazing and I want you guys to get these results I'm not selling you anything I'm just providing you with information that I man 
I get very little sleep because I'm constantly doing research. I I want to grow. I want to grow. I want to become more valuable. I want to just become more insightful and just more informative to the rest of the world and then give this information to you guys so that you guys can succeed as entrepreneurs and have a successful 360 photo booth business. Now, these are the steps I need you to take so that you guys can start ranking. Now, when I first started um, this business, 360 photo booth business, it was called Canary Capital Rentals, just Canary Capital Rentals. And then at the end, 360 photo booth. But after what I learned on how SEO works, how Google index works, and how the ranking functions as a whole, I am so grateful to share this information with you now because look at me now. Now I'm on the first I'm on the first page of Google. That's truly amazing, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Uh, it's I'll show you right now. Okay. First thing you want to do, guys, is say, for example you are thinking of a business name to name your 360 photo booth business you could probably name it something like and your mind you're probably thinking like well my name is david i should be called i should call it three david's 360 photo booth yeah that sounds cool it's david that way they know it's you could do that you can do that uh and you can name it something like crazy fun 360 photo booth you can come up with all kinds of cool creative names but we need to make it easy for google to find us, we need to get Google to put us in front of hundreds of people so that those eyes, those potential clients can click on our website, can click on our link and get more familiar with who we are, what we offer for how much and basically a whole breakdown of our business, right? So let's do this. Let's jump into Google Keyword Planner. I want you to go on your laptop right now if you're from laptop and type in Google Key Planner, but let's go to the actual search engine right there google key planner so we're gonna go on here and then we're gonna click right up here and then let me go ahead and and make my uh i almost forgot about this make this 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 is a fair size let's go ahead and click on here and this is going to take us to the first page on google planner and all we're going to do is just click that tab right there okay what's this here let's go ahead and eject that Okay, so we're going to go where it says discover new keywords. Okay. This is, I love this, man. This is fun. Okay, I'm going to type in 360 photo booth rental. Boom. And then I'm going to go to get results. So as you guys can see over the years, comparison to last year, there's been a 900% increase in search traffic for 360 photo booth rental. That's great. And the amount of monthly searches also for this keyword is anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 searches a month. The only thing is the competition for this is super high, which, which what this means is that if you started today and you named yours 360 photo booth rental, your website would not be ranking at the very top and it would take a lot of effort, a lot of quality content, a lot of rich content, a lot of constant posting, a lot of pages on your website, just a lot of effort to compete because the competition for this one is high. There's a lot of people that are already established that have been in the game for a while and have gained authority over this over these uh, specific keywords that you see right here. Okay, so you, are you guys still with me? Okay, we're learning about keywords and the volume of traffic they're getting and also where they're at as far as competition goes. You and I, we wanna go for names and keywords that have low competition. And even though it's gonna be low competition uh, with lower monthly searches, that's totally okay because what we want is we want our booth, we want our business to rank at the very top of Google's search engine. That way we get more eyeballs on our uh, digital presence, right? So as, as I scroll down, I just want to show you guys really quick. And I'm trying to keep this video short. I made this video earlier and it was like 30 minutes plus. It took forever to upload. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and give you the sweet, uh, the sweet, short and sweet version, right? So for example, right here, 360 Photo Booth Rental Corporation. Um, it says medium right here for competition. It's still doable, meaning you can still rank for it. But just keep in mind how many uh, searches it has monthly, which is 10 from 100. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, 
you live in Austin, Texas, right? And you type in 360 photo booth rental and then Austin, Texas. Just an example. Let's let's see where we're at with with keywords as far as Google's go. Okay, so it's, it would be extremely easy to rank uh, because as you can see, there's not even enough data, right? To show us what's the competition level, but we do see that you're getting anywhere from zero to 10 searches a month. Okay, maybe uh, let's try another one, right? Let's try three, we'll, we'll go ahead and close this one. We'll try 360 photo booth, and then we'll try, you know, let's try Austin, Texas again. But this time I didn't include the rental. Let me see if, if the results change a little bit. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. So let's see, 360 photo booth. You know, I was on TikTok and I realized there's a lot of people from Atlanta, um, you know, jumping into the game with a 360 photo booth. So it's Atlanta, Atlanta, boom. Okay, and then we're gonna go enter. And we get results. All right, this is cool. How do I move this to the side? Is it because of this right here? So I'm just gonna move this a little bit, a little bit more because I realize I'm covering a little bit of the uh, real estate on the screen. So let's just shrink it just a tad bit right there. That, sh that should be perfect right there. So as you guys can see, 360 photo booth rental Atlanta. It's high, the competition, the monthly searches is also high, right? Um, and then right here, 360 photo booth, Atlanta rental is medium. So you can, you can definitely jump into this medium one because the competition is not high. Um, it might be easier to rank for these keywords. So the next thing we wanna do, and like I said, we always wanna go for the low. We wanna find one with, that says competition low. Um, so let's give it another shot here. See if we can. This is photo of Atlanta. So that right on. This is it's high. This is medium. I like this one right here. I like this one right here. Three sixty photo booth Atlanta because it's a uh, hundred to a thousand searches a month and the competition is medium. Next thing we want to do, guys, and go ahead and follow uh, follow me is let's add an extra tab to our laptops, right? And let's open up Google. And we're gonna type exactly this right here in title comma quotations and then what, did, what was it i'm going to come over here and grab and paste here i'm going to take this right here i'm going to copy and then i'm going to paste all this guys is free all it takes is time um put that in there close it to quotations hit enter and i want you to pay attention to this specific number right here right up here about eight results which means you all, you are only competing for these keywords with eight people, well not eight people, but eight places within this platform, within Google, that have it as their keywords in their title. So we're in their title, they have 360 Photo Booth Atlanta. That's why this popped up, because it's in their title. And this is where things get interesting, guys, because so I showed you the first step, right, to kind of gauge to see how much traction a specific keyword is getting and also using your creativity to say, you know what, I'm not going to name the photo booth what, after my daughter. I'm not going to name the photo booth. Of, you know, you're going to say, I'm going to name this photo booth in a way that is going to be easily uh found on google and and get rankings on local seo super quick that's going to be your mentality now because you're a businessman right and you want the quickest return on your investment And this 360 photo booth is exactly that it's a it's a freaking investment and and it's eventually it'll become a lifestyle right so that's where we're at right now with this specific keyword right here in title by eight so if i was living in atlanta right now and i launched my 360 photo booth business i would right away say hey this is a huge potential. I, I'm, I would definitely consider opening up my business and my handle on social media and just going with 360 Photo Booth Rental Atlanta because I'm only competing with just a, a few sites right here that you can rank right above if you do these next steps that I'm going to share with you, right? So that was step one and of, of finding a good keyword for the city that you reside in because that's what we're focusing on is 
a certain radius from where you're going to be driving from and serving these potential clients and uh, you know hosting these corporate events and all that great stuff. Next thing we want to do, and I want you to uh, really pay attention to this part too, even though it's, it's like anyone can do it, just knowing this information. We can go to GoDaddy or where, wherever you um, would go to buy a domain, all right? You can go to HostGator, you can go to Wix, you can go to uh, Bluehost, there's just tons of places. I don't have any uh, a, a relationships with any of these places, but um, just go on Google and type in GoDaddy, uh, what is it, uh, Squarespace, all those places that sell domains. And right here, find domain, we want to see if this right here is available as a domain. Because, guys, think about this. Look, think about this. If this person here, this this company, this company, this company, are ranking at the top for 360 photo booth rental in Atlanta, right? But if you look at their uh, their domain name, right? It's not these proper uh, keywords right here. So you, as a sniper, as a clever uh, entrepreneur, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the actual keywords as your domain, right? So we go to search domain and 360 oh my goodness look at that boom 360 photo booth rental atlanta.com no one has it this is yours if you're watching this and you're in atlanta jump on this right now guys this isn't financial advice but this is something that i would do myself all right and besides it's only a penny for the first two years of registry, you can't go wrong. This is, if I was a jerk, I'd go on here and just buy this just to buy it and then later on sell it. But no, it's up for grabs. Whoever's watching this video, hey, this is your time to shine. If you stay in Atlanta, I would jump on this. It says that I gotta breathe. My Apple Watch is telling me I gotta breathe. ADHD, baby, let's go. So that's how you guys start ranking right away is by finding keywords that are associated with your business and your city so you can start ranking locally. And this is uh, a place where you come in to do exactly that and it's called Google Keyword Plan or Keyword Planner. It's free. You guys seen how I, I, I went in there and I just did that thing real quick. What, it, take le it took less than two minutes. And then after that, you jump over to your Google search engine and remember you type in in title, comma, quotation and whatever you're looking for right here right and then another thing to look at is remember make sure that it's low like if it's under 50 results i say go for it um because it's going to be easier to rank right and after that you say that checks out and that checks out you go over to a place where they you can get, register a domain and you buy your domain if com is available or net is available because now you're going to have these incredible uh powerful keywords as a domain which is one and it's a big one and then you're going to be able to put them in your title which is your header your h1 on your website or on your yelp or on your google business guys this right here man like when i found out about this and as you guys can see what difference it made on in, in my in my business that we're launching here together as you guys been with me since like the jump and it's only been about a month now and yes, uh, slowly but surely, because I have a long-term vision for this business, so I'm, I'm doing my homework, I'm doing my research, and yes, there's things that I should have done first, but I get overexcited, and sometimes I just go for it, you know? But, but that's cool, because I'm gonna take whatever mistakes I made, I'm gonna share them with you right away so that you avoid those mistakes. And one mistake that a lot of people are gonna make in the journey of this 360 photo booth business launch is trying to come up with a cool name versus thinking let me come up with a name that google is going to recognize right away so that i can easily be found on google's platform which is going to make it easier for me to start generating business because of these leads that google is giving to me for free organically without me having to pay money for ads because we already spend a lot of money on that 360 photo booth plus all the other things that are going to go with that 360 photo booth guys if this video right here has 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 drawn you in to a point where it's like thank you hit me with the like right now go ahead i'll take a few seconds just to like real quick boom cool thank you and subscribe by the way if you guys are here for the very first time uh um it's a pleasure to have you guys here i i thank you for clicking on this thumbnail and i thank you for making it this far in the video watching the entirety of this video i try to keep it short like i said um 
And I'm also grateful for all my new subscribers, which I'm going to shout out right here, right now, because I do really appreciate you guys interacting with me and asking me questions. Other than that, I'm going to keep on producing these videos when I get the opportunity, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay blessed. Go create. I love y'all. Shh.